Okay, good evening, people. Good evening, Good evening, teacher. Let me take the attendance for the last class. Alejandra Beatriz Guzman. Andrea Fabiola Menjivar.
Cecilia de los Ángeles, Adrián. César Guadalupe Enríquez. Edgar Abel Tejada. I'm here, Mr. Montoya. Okay, welcome. Edson Stanley Hernández. Present, teacher. Good. Elvira Lorenza Álvarez. Ileana María Los Guerrero. I'm here. Okay, welcome. Irma Raquel García. Joana Yesenia García. Here, teacher. Welcome. José Daniel Chávez. Catherine Alejandra Hernández. Good evening. Okay, welcome. Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Rafael Alejandro Anaya. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero. Samuel Isaac Flores. Tania Pamela Montoya. Okay, people. Since tonight is the last class, I want to jump to this topic. And let's start talking about uh, perspectives. If I move to a foreign country, these are some people talking about moving to a foreign country. Listen to their concerns. It says, one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. Well, another concern. I'd be uncertain about the local food. I might not like it. That's true. Getting used to different customs might be difficult at first. Definitely. My room at home is the thing that I'd miss the most. I'd be homesick. Communicating in a new language is something I'd be anxious about. Moving to a country with a very different climate could be a challenge. I'd be worried about getting sick and not knowing how to find a good doctor. Something I'd be nervous about is making new friends, especially in a foreign language. Okay. Which, or uh, name three of these concerns in order uh, of, I don't know, mm, difficulty for you. Which name three, three of these concerns that would be really, really uh, difficult for you. 
for me, I would say um, communicating in a new language is something I'll be anxious about. Okay. Moving, and the next one is moving to a country with a very different climate could be a challenge. Okay. And the next one, I'll be I'll be worried about getting sick and not knowing how to find a good doctor. Okay. Anyone else who want to share their main concerns about moving to a foreign country? For me, the food is not a problem. I like to try new things. For me, maybe the climate. Because I don't like hot places. For me, teacher, uh -huh. something I've been nervous about <coughs> making new friends, especially in a foreign language. Well, and, mm -hmm. and mm, moving to a country with a very different climate could be a challenge. Okay. Yeah. Um, communicating in a new language is something I'd be nervous about. Okay. Yeah. You're right. So probably making new making new friends could be difficult for me. Uh not only by for the not only for the language but just for the culture maybe you don't know their their customs okay now look at this uh in these sentences there are some noun phrases that are used, some of them as subject and some of them as object. Yeah. When we talk about noun phrases, we are talking about phrases that work or function as a noun in a sentence, particularly in this case as a subject. Yeah. So look at this. One thing that I really miss is my mom's cooking. One thing that I really miss. The, this that is optional. That's why it's in parentheses. But in this sentence, the phrase one thing. I really miss it's not just a phrase, it's a noun phrase. Okay, so you're talking about something is working as a noun. Something that I'd be nervous about, but it's another phrase that is working as a noun in that sentence. Two people who I email every day. So these are what we call noun phrases and in this part, they are working as nouns, as subjects. The sec in this other group, my mom's cooking is one thing that I really miss. Making new friends is something that I'd be nervous about. My parents are 
two people who I'd email every day. In this case, these phrases, actually similar phrases, one thing that I really miss, something I'd be nervous about, two people who I email every day. Now, in this case, they are not working as the subject of the sentence, but as, as the object of the verb. Remember that the object of the verb is the, is the part of the sentence that receives the action of the verb. Okay? In these sentences, the verb is the verb be, is. My mom cooking is, is, are. My mom's cooking is what? Well, it is one thing that I really miss. Making new new friends is what? It's something that I'd be nervous about. Yeah. And uh, so these are phrases that work as a noun in the first group. Working as a subject in the second group, working as an object. Simple. So, um, let's practice with some sentences that we have here. Look at this exercise. It says here, complete the sentences about living in a foreign country. You can use these phrases. Okay. Um, so we all can have different opinions. One thing I definitely be fascinated by is, uh, let me see, one thing I definitely be fascinated by is, for me, yes. trying new foods, for me, <laughs> okay, let's make another pair for me, uh, is something I really miss, what is something I really miss? My family. My family is something I really miss. Okay, so I will give you time to make sentences combining uh, the phrases. Okay? So I'll write them down and later we are going to talk about, about that, okay? Okay, teacher.
Okay, people, I will send you to work in small groups. I want you to share the sentences you have already, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> okay, join the breaker rooms, please, and talk about your sentence.
Okay, I like to hear some of your sentences. We'll start. Any any sentence. Okay, for the number three, I have two things I I'll I'll be homesick for are and getting sick and being away from home. Okay. Okay. Even though when we talk about homesick, it's not an illness actually. Homesick is when you miss your home uh, too much because of some reason, because of the food, because of the friends, because of family, because of whatever, okay? So when you are homesick, you are uh, longing for your, for your country or for your town. Mm -hmm. Just to find that, that we're oh, homesick. Thank you, sir. In this case, it could be uh, my room at home and my favorite food. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, someone else, please. Another one. Me, teacher. Number one, one thing I definitely be fascinated by is speaking a new language. Okay. Good. Uh, the second one mm -hmm. is something I really miss. Uh, my family and my friends of the childhood. Okay. So you should say, my family and my friends and my childhood friends are oh. something I really need. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My family and my friends, childhood. Childhood friend. Childhood friend is something I really miss. Okay. Okay, someone else, please. Come on, people. Go to the in my case, uh -huh. in my case, number five, there is a something that will depress me getting used to a different culture. Ah, okay. Okay. Another one? And, uh, number six? Oh, no, number seven. Uh, the most un un comfortable time will be is uh, getting lost in uh, the city. Ah, yeah. Definitely. Uh -huh. Okay. Someone else, please. Okay. okay, go ahead. In my opinion, uh, the number uh, seven, the most uncomfortable thing would be uh, getting used to a different culture. And the number uh, 10 are two things I'd be 
very enthusiastic about and be speaking a new ling language and uh, making new friends. Okay. That's it. Okay, very good. Anyone else? Okay. Now, uh, let's move to the next topic here. <clears throat> Let me read this conversation just to introduce the topic. Between Marta and Karen says, guess what? I just got invited to my teacher's house for dinner. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, it is the custom to bring a small gift. Really? Like what? Or oh, maybe some flowers or chocolate. And is it all right to bring a friend along? Well, if you want to bring someone you respect, you're expected to call first and ask if it is okay. We're talking about customs uh, in another country, right? So, interesting. And uh, let's take a look to this topic about expectation. When you visit someone, so to talk about the expectations, you could say, it is the custom to bring a small gift. You aren't supposed to arrive early. Now, and another way to express expectation, if you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask. You're supposed to check with the host. It is not acceptable to arrive without calling first. Okay, so this is some way to express expectation. What others expect from you, or what, what you can do to know the, uh, the culture or the expectations of others. But to practice this, we have a couple of columns here with information to make sentences about customs in the United States and Canada. Let's, let's uh, work on this. For example, if you plan to visit someone at home, what do you think is the custom you are supposed to call first? You are expected to leave a tip. You aren't supposed to kiss him or her. You are expected to respond in writing. It is the custom to call and thank him or her. It is acceptable to share the expense. Letter D. Letter D. If you no, plan, no, no. if letter you plan, e. yeah, letter E, right? Yes. If you plan to visit someone at home, it is the custom to call and yes. him or her. Uh, no, actually, no. <laughs> because you don't. Letter say, 
Yeah, yeah it's letter A. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to call first. Okay. Yeah. 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 What about two? If you've been to a friend's home for dinner, what is the expectation? It's accepta acceptable. Acceptable. I don't know. To share the expenses. If you've been to a friend's home for dinner, what do you think, people? Little F. Shared expenses? Yes, little F. Little F. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, let's see. When you have been invited to a wedding, it's the custom to call and thank him or her. Hmm. When you go out on a date, letter C. C. You no. aren't supposed. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, that is the reason for the date. <laughs> it's possible, teacher. <laughs> If the rest is the if the service in a restaurant is good, you are expected to leave a tip. Yeah, definitely. The only one I agree with you, people. <laughs> and when you meet someone for the first time, the the deep. You're expected to respond in writing? No. <laughs> Is it a joke? Is it a to see? <laughs> when you meet someone for the first time, you are, yes, you are yeah. supposed yeah. to kiss him or her. Change the request. Yes, I agree. So, everyone agrees with number two. If you've been to a friend's home for dinner, it's acceptable to share the expenses. Already, you're expected to respond in writing. No. No. <laughs> okay. Letter E. Letter E, yes. When you have been invited to a wedding, you're expected to respond in writing. That's in gringos, culture. When you go out on a date, maybe it's at a table to share the expenses. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, 
Okay. Have you been to a friend's home for dinner? Indeed. What about here in El Salvador? What is expected? If you plan to visit someone at home, is the same? What do you think? If you plan to visit someone at home, what is the custom here? idea visit different places huh? um, I mean <laughs> if you plan to visit someone at home oh at home I think a question can be bring food Okay. Yeah, supposed to call Phil, right? Oh, yeah. If I plan to visit someone at home, I used to bring some fruit or or any cake or or food. Yes. To yes. share with them. At least some some bread, right? To share with coffee. Yeah, or some dessert or a wine. <laughs> oh, the bands, yeah, could be a yeah. wine. Okay, but if you plan to visit me, bring some cake, the pita okay. with coffee. Yeah, oh, I, I, I'll make the coffee, but. You bring the bread. <laughs> okay. What uh, what is the custom when you go out on a date here? On a first date. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about the first date. When you go out on a first date. What is it expected here in El Salvador? Come on, haven't you been ever been in a first date? The after the the Christmas. Oh, when you go out on a first date. Mm. That is the question. I used to invite her to uh, drink co any coffee or or uh, a typical food. Okay, so. It is expected that men pay for the bill. Exactly. I think it's correct that the person who invites paid for the bill. Ah. If the man invites, the man paid. But if the girl invites, the girl paid. <laughs> yeah, because, I don't know. Okay. Or maybe can go to different places. One, I paid for one place and she paid for other place. I don't know. We live two experiences in one date. Ah, okay. What about here in El Salvador? If the service in a restaurant is good, is the tip expected?
yeah, we are expected to leave a tip. Sometimes they they add to the bill because there are so many people that never tipped to the waiter. Yeah, if, if the tip is not included in the bill, Salvadorians don't leave a tip. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but we come back more to <laughs> this place, okay? Yeah, we, we can come back, but the tip is not included. <laughs> Salvadorians are stingy. <laughs> Okay, people. Well, with this, we finish this manual and this level, this module. Thank you for being uh, with me these 16 days. Okay, uh, teacher. It's been a pleasure for me, even though some days I was a little down because I've been sick. Thank God I'm feeling better now. Okay. Thank you for being here and give us the best of you to teach. Okay, my pleasure, yeah. people. Thank you for teacher. Okay. Thank you. Take care, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you to enjoy okay. your weekend. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you very much, teacher. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. It was a pleasure being your student. Thank you very much.